Hello everyone, welcome to Minnesota. state of the series which is making me so sad right now but it's bittersweet because I'm obviously still traveling just a lot slower now so today's Tuesday I leave here on Thursday and that will conclude the series but I have today and tomorrow full days to completely explore this area which I'm in Fairmont Minnesota which is very 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 south Minnesota it's borderline Iowa. <laughs> the campground that I'm at is called Flying Goose Campground and it's just off of I-90. A lot of trees in this campground which I haven't really gotten which is really weird. So it's super shady and it's really nice to not be in the direct sunlight <laughs> all the time because most of the RV parks that I've been to they've been very open almost like parking lots whereas this feels very campground-esque so I like that. And I'm on a lake actually, which is really nice. I can't see it from my campsite because I'm kind of in the back of the campground. I do want to walk down to the lake area and kind of see what that looks like. So you're coming with me. Let's head to the lake. There's geese. They're coming home. <laughs> So I came down to the lake now. Oh my gosh, a fish just jumped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was cool, I saw that. It is so peaceful down here. There's like a little dock that I'm sitting on. I'm not gonna lie, I had my morning coffee down here and I didn't vlog it at all because I wanted to be just in the moment with myself and it was so, so relaxing. Like I haven't been on the lake in a very long time and it was really nice to just chill, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the trip. So my feelings have really evolved throughout this entire trip. So I did the math the other day, which I hadn't really done before, and I did 10 states in two months, which equals the 3,200 miles, which is the name of the series. And in those 10 states, during that time, at the beginning, I was so nervous and I didn't know how it was going to go. I knew that I was excited, but also there was a lot of things that I knew could go wrong. And one of those things did end up happening with my whole tire fiasco at the very beginning of the trip. It was like my first drive out and that really wrecked my enthusiasm. I'm not going to lie, like I took that way harder than I needed to and it was tough. But once we got all my tires fixed and I was in these new places and the, my first couple states, I was really enjoying the campground life, um, which is not something that I'd experienced before and it was really fun. And then I think when I got to Texas, things felt a little more normal. It was only my third state, but I was very comfortable in the whole take up set down process which was the, kind of the only thing that was making me nervous plus when I was in Texas I had people to hang out with so that was really nice <laughs> but it was my first state where I really felt like I was in the swing of things like nothing was really new or different except the state that I was in which was really welcome um, and I started to really get in the groove with things. And then the next couple states after that, I was really focused on just exploring, doing new things. Like when I was in Roswell, I went to a bunch of state parks. When I was in Oklahoma, we went to the rodeo, which you saw, and it was just a really fun time to get to explore without having to worry about any of the issues with van, or not van life, RV life. <laughs> so I really could just focus on my content and what I was doing. Obviously I knew before I left on my trip that I was going to be fired, but it wasn't until this past Friday where I actually uh, became unemployed. 
I guess, technically. I'm still freelancing, so it's not really like, I wasn't employed by them, that's a whole thing. Uh, not for this video, <laughs> but um, I knew that I wasn't gonna be working anymore. And once I left Colorado and I've been back in the Midwest, I have felt such an overwhelming feeling of joy and happiness to be back in the Midwest and be back home, which is honestly a feeling I can say I didn't expect to have. I was always excited to come back to Wisconsin, but just for the fact that like I know people here and I have people to hang out with and see, because I grew up here. But I didn't think I'd miss other things about it as much as I did, like the weather and just how everything feels so familiar. It's really, really nice. And I've talked about this in Kansas, so I'm not going to like rehash that entire conversation that I had with you, but it's just, it's still a strong feeling and I've been to two other states since then. So now that I'm in Minnesota, which is technically my last state before Wisconsin, I still have that feeling of being excited to being home, but I'm like very retrospective looking back on the trip and I have such gratitude that I had such minimal issues throughout this entire thing. Like I put on a lot of miles. I went to a bunch of different states and to only have tire issues in the very beginning and have nothing go wrong after that, I feel so, so incredibly lucky and grateful because it really allowed me to, after I got those fixed, to focus on where I was and traveling and making content and doing the things that I love to do instead of having to worry about things going wrong on my camper constantly or driving because at the beginning of the trip I had a lot of driving anxiety which is not something I've ever felt before but I could feel it in my stomach like my stomach would be all tied up and just so tense to the point where like I didn't want to eat um, and that's how I know it was anxiety at the beginning of the trip like any travel day that I had once I got to where I was going, it completely went away and I was fine, but it was just like the night before and the morning of travel day it was really, really rough for me. And once I got my tires fixed and I had more and more travel days that were uneventful, that anxiety slowly went away and now I don't even care about driving. <laughs> I get in the car and I like zone out half the time. I'm just kidding, but not really. Um, and it's a lot more peaceful for me. So that's really, really nice. I'm not done traveling by any means, but this was a great start and it really made me appreciate all the states that I've been to and how I'm able to handle this, which is really my biggest takeaway, that I was able to do it and I did do it and that is so, so incredible. Just to know that I can handle things, anything I want to do and this just solidified that for me. It's a great feeling. I've had such a relaxing afternoon and I think it's because I haven't been on my phone barely at all today. So once I got back from the lake where I chatted with you, I decided I wanted to start a book because I just wanted to be outside but I didn't have like anything to do outside. So I started reading this book called Love and Luck. It's part of a trilogy. I read the first one when I was in high school actually. And a little fun fact about me, I cannot for the life of me remember books that I read. <laughs> In my senior year, I was in a novels class and the entire class was an hour and a half block of just reading. That's all you did, like you went there, it was silent, and the entire class was reading for an hour and a half and that was my day. <laughs> and that was one of my classes for an entire semester. I read a shit ton of books while I was there. And I can barely remember A, any of the books I read, B, if I remember a book that I did read, I don't know what happened in it. I just don't know what it is. Like I suck in movies and song lyrics like I'm a sponge. But then when it comes to books, I'm a brick wall. I cannot remember details of books. So that goes to say <laughs> that I reread the first one recently and now I've started the second one. And I really like it so far. 
These books really keep me hooked because they're about like traveling, but then having an adventure and like self-discovery while they're traveling. Like all three books have the same kind of concept that way. And I like that concept. So I started reading this. I got a decent way through it. I mean, probably a third, maybe even a half. Reading a book outside and it has been glorious. Technically yesterday was my first day of unemployment. So I'm halfway through my unemployment period. <laughs> And I don't know what to do with myself, you guys. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, what am I gonna do? I have no work. I have, and it's, it's just so weird because the last time that I was unemployed was probably like never. <laughs> there was maybe a little unemployment period when um, the pandemic started and everybody got sent home from their jobs and I got sent home from college. But I think that was also only like a week or two because I got a job at a grocery store in my hometown so that I could work while I was home because I literally don't know what to do with myself when I don't have a job. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll get dinner. I wasn't gonna go anywhere, but I'm back in Taco John's territory, which I <laughs> grew up on Taco John's. That is such a comfort restaurant for me. And I don't think they've been in any of the states in the south. I could be wrong. I haven't seen one at least. And there's one here in town. So I wonder if I should get Taco John's for dinner. Final thing I want to say before I go get food is I just rewatched back most of my videos from this series. And I haven't told you guys a single thing about this new job that I have. I don't even know if I've mentioned that I got a new job. Because I said that in my Texas video, I said I have a plan and I'm working on it still. And that's the last thing you heard from me. So I recognize that you have no idea what I'm doing next. So in this video, I want to give you an in-depth update on what I'm doing after I finish this travel series. But not right now. You guys will have to wait. <laughs> the person behind these license plates says Kermie. <laughs> Kermit the Frog, probably because it's a green Kia, which is hilarious. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> we got the goods. And you can't see it, but right over there, there's a freaking quick trip. Big one, too. You know, last time I've been to Quick Trip, it's probably been like not a year, whatever October to now is. <laughs> Eating on the bed, don't care. <laughs> Look it potato olays. I'm so excited. And I got two tacos. So guys, I'm hardcore debating leaving tomorrow <laughs> instead of leaving the next day. I'm just really excited to get there, to be honest. And there's like, not that there's nothing for me to do here because it's nice to be relaxing. It just kind of feels like I'm delaying the inevitable at this point because it's like, I'm going just a day early. I don't know. It just, I just feel like I kind of want to leave tomorrow. Mm. Oh baby. This is so good. I'm so glad I went tonight. Oh, this is so good. And I was on the phone with my mom and I told her, I kind of feel like leaving tomorrow. Okay. She's like, okay, just do it. <laughs> just leave tomorrow. I was like, well, fine. Twist my arm. Usually I will unpack like my computer and stuff. Cause that's like the only thing I have to store. Right. And I didn't unpack it because I don't really need my big computer anymore because I'm not working, which is just weird. So it'll take me like a half hour to pack up tomorrow. I texted my new job this morning and I asked them if I could come in a day early and they seemed very excited <laughs> for me to come today instead of tomorrow. So I will probably be packing up and heading there. I've had a very lazy morning just laying here because it's only a I think two and a half hour drive to my new place. So it's uh, not gonna be that bad and I don't have to get up that early and leave right away. I am going to get up, get everything packed up here, which really isn't gonna take me that long. It's probably gonna take me longer to get ready for the day, if I'm being honest, <laughs> if not the same amount of time. And I will tell you about my new job when I get in the car. Yay! Hello! As you can see, I'm on the road now. Hopefully Luna won't meow too much during this. 
She always meows when I get in the car for the first like half hour to an hour. I have two and a half hours exactly until I make it to where I'm going. First thing I'm gonna say is I unfortunately will not be sharing where I'm staying, which really isn't that important of a detail. It's an RV resort, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but just for privacy reasons, I'm not going to be sharing that uh, on my channel while I'm there. I will for sure share it like once I leave. Um, but just for my own safety, I won't say like the name of the place. But anyway, that's wanted to get that out of the way before I talk about it. So what I'm going to be doing this summer is a thing called work camping. It's quite popular in the full-time RV community. A lot of people who do RV full-time know what it is, but essentially a campground will let you stay there for free. They'll give you free site, um, like hookups, electric, things like that in exchange for work. So I've had a few interactions with uh, this campground about my job that I'm doing. And essentially what I think is that I'm helping with activities and kind of keeping activities going throughout the summer on the campground, which is very up my alley because I was a camp counselor and an RA for three out of my four years in college. And so it feels very fitting for me. It feels like it's gonna be very similar um, where I'm just kind of helping out the campground, doing what they need to do, maybe working in their store sometimes. I'm not exactly sure yet, and I'm gonna get a lot more details over the next couple days when I'm there and I'm asking questions and things like that. I am so excited for this opportunity though. I started looking into this uh, when I found out my other job was gonna be letting me go. I looked into both film jobs and maybe doing work camping because it was a way to keep me traveling and focused on that part of my life. So that's a little overview of my job that I'm gonna be doing for the entire summer. I'm gonna be in the same place until October, I believe, and so it's gonna be a great way for me to spend some quality time at home in my home state. You guys, I made it to my site. I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I met a couple people already and they seem super duper nice as I imagined that they would and I just cannot wait to get started. I finally, I've got all set up already. Everything's all good. The only thing I didn't set up is my sewer but to be honest that always takes me like an extra day to do because I never want to do it. <laughs> so I think to officially end off this vlog we have a sticker to put on. The final sticker. How sad, but gotta do it. <laughs>